Mrs. Alioto here with another read aloud. Today's book is called Never Let a Unicorn Scribble, and it's written and illustrated by Diane Alber. Here we go. Never Let a Unicorn Scribble. <clears throat> I recently got a pet unicorn. I know it's hard to believe, but it's true. And everyone keeps telling me, never let a unicorn scribble. Why would anyone say such a thing? I mean, unicorns can run on rainbows, so why can't they scribble? I thought if I give her just one crayon, what could go wrong? Well, I'll tell you, she ate it. Now my favorite bright pink crayon was traveling to the belly of a unicorn. This is probably why people are saying unicorns should never scribble, because they eat crayons. Then it occurred to me, maybe unicorns don't know how to use crayons. So I gathered all my crayons and I began to scribble. I made a blue scribble, a pink scribble, a yellow scribble, and even a crazy scribble. Now that she could see how unicorn crayons worked, I thought maybe I would give her another chance to scribble. I took out a teal crayon and I placed it right in front of her. Any predictions here? She ate all of it. Oh my goodness. Listen to me, unicorn. We do not eat crayons. We draw with them. But then I realized the unicorn couldn't hold a crayon like I could. Maybe that's why she was eating them. So I got an idea. Maybe if I tied a few crayons to her horn, that would help her to scribble. Within seconds, glitter scribbles started shooting out like water from a fire hose. Look at that big, beautiful squirt. Sparkling rainbow scribbles were everywhere. They were on the floor, on the ceiling, on the walls. They were even on my lamp. I've been begging my mom to redecorate my room for a while now, but I don't think this is what she had in mind. Then I heard a noise down the hall. This was it. I was going to be in so much trouble. Before my mom could say anything, I started to explain what she was about to see. Well, it all started when I heard to never let a unicorn scribble, but I had to find out why. So I gave my unicorn a crayon and then she ate it. Then I tried to teach her to scribble, but then she ate another crayon. So I tied the crayons to her horn and boy was that horn magical. The scribbles started shooting out like a water fountain and they were so sparkly, but it made such a mess. I'm sorry. My mom peeked around the corner and smiled. You didn't make a mess. You made a glowing masterpiece. When I turned around, all the scribbles were right there on my easel. Not on the ceiling, not on the walls, not on my lamp. They were all on one big piece of paper and it was the most amazing art ever. Oh, she looks relieved. All this time, people wanted to stop unicorns from scribbling. It was because they eat crayons or because it's so messy. But if my unicorn had never scribbled, she would never have learned how to make this masterpiece. So the next time you hear a unicorn shouldn't scribble, just remember all great art starts with a scribble. And even unicorns have to start somewhere. The end. That was a great story, wasn't it? Thanks for listening.